All right. Now, to modify national identification number data, individuals must submit supporting documents and complete the required forms at a designated National Identity Management Commission office. The steps are, one, completed NIN modification form obtained from the NIMC office or downloaded from the NIMC website. Two, original NIN slip for verification purposes. Three, supporting documents for the modification example, birth certificate, marriage certificate, court order, etc. Number four, proof of identity, any of passports, driver's licenses, permanent voter's card. Five, proof of citizenship or residency, birth certificate, passport, naturalization certificate. Six, recent passport size photograph. Seven, fingerprints captured at the N. IMC office. Eight, signature signed on the modification form. Nine, payment of the applicable modification fee, if required. Ten, completed and signed consent form for minors or individuals with legal guardians. Barrister and Damsey, what are your thoughts on these 10 requirements? My thoughts are this. My thoughts are on two different sides of the story. This is because the, the fishermen in our various uh, fishing communities, how do they expect the local people out there to fit in into what they are asking. Where are the offices of NIMC? Will NIMC make themselves available to the local communities for them to fill up these requirements? Or they are expecting the local poor plantain seller in the village to find him or herself in the state offices of NIMC. So they need to, they need to see, these people need to be honest with us. They just sit in the comfort of their offices and dish out policies that are offensive to us, policies that are making things more difficult for Nigerians other than what we, we have already. Government should come up with ideas that can help the people. See, Nigerians are already going through a lot. So why asking us now to come and modify our information with you? You already have this information. These informations we are taking when you registered us for national identity card. Duplication of rules, duties, and offices in our, in our country is just the problem. The Think of, they just sit there, come up with policies that can encourage them to steal money or embezzle money. That's all they do. Tell me, what and how will this modification of information help? Is it about security? They already have our information in the data bank. The NIA and the DSS have our data bank. They have it. All they need to do is get what is with NIMC, get what is with the banks. DSS will merge it with the information they have in our data bank and create a central data bank for Nigerians. They should stop this rigmaroling of policies. You said the government in this case are not being... Uh, honest with us. What do you think they're not being honest about? Yes, I have. Yes, this particular modification. If I were to be Mr. President, I would call the DG of NIMC and ask him to shave down that policy. 
Because one, in doing this, they are expecting government to part with money. Why funding frivolities? Why, where other vital sectors are left, left, you know, uh, like education is almost dying in Nigeria. Education is dying. People, people are no more encouraged to study because of hard times. I find it, I find it very disturbing that these days the reading culture in our, in our various schools have reduced drastically. People are not reading anymore. Mm. So the government should think out of the box. Government should start considering what and what will they put in place to help Nigerians. Okay. Not policies that will punish us, not policies that will make Nigerians keep groining. That is the challenge. Okay, now let's take a look at your second perspective. You said you had two points to this. Yes. Then, the second, my second position will be that modifying. If they are modifying to build up our central data bank, then it will encourage security. Okay? But in doing this modifying, you don't need to call us out to your offices anymore. Our information is already with you. Those that we should be encouraged to come to the various NIMC offices should be those that have not registered NIN. You have our information, you have our addresses, you have captured us, you have our fingerprints. What else do you need? That is enough, in my own opinion, to do whatever modification they need. If I were to be NIMC, we sh they should do publishing of names. Publish names and the NIN information and ask people to go to lo uh, designated centers Confirm that your details are correct. If your details are correct, they merge it with what they are doing. But is, and this, link is it, it safe with... to, to publish your NIN? As, as far as I'm concerned, I cannot use your NIN for anything. It's, it's a public information. I can't use yours. Seems that Unauthorized. Are... I can't use yours. You can't use mine. Since they are now linked to the banks, do you still consider it the public you, you, information? You, yes, you see, there is freedom of information in Nigeria, okay? And during the time of good luck, FOI Act was signed into law, which, which makes it mandatory now for I and you to ask government to make any public policy we consider relevant public, no issues. Then on, on whether it is safe, considering NIN is linked to our banks. Mm. My sister, you see, deploying the right technology is just the answer to these challenges. Talking about deploying the right technology, let's, you, you made mention of uh, the people who should come to these offices are people who probably have not done their registration at all. And I remember when you started your analysis, you mentioned the the, the layman, the, the fisherman in your words, and the people in the village. If we're talking about people who have not registered, we would want to also get to look at these people. How can they make the process easier, even for, for these people? Yes, they can make the process easier. Registration. Re right? Registration yes. processes yes. easier by making it mobile. Staffs and officials of NIMC could be empowered like what they do during uh, our voter registration exercises. They can adopt the method of INEC and send these people to the various localities and have them registered instead of calling them out to their various offices. What about the requirements, the documents that are needed? I remember when Divine mentioned those documents, your first statement was, how would these people get all of these things? I, I, I said it before, Nigerians, Nigerian government are not interested in things that can help Nigerians to smile. These local people, yes, over 85% over of them 
should have their voters card with this voters card information it is enough instead of the checklist of documents i i i, I saw there okay. with the voter information it's enough because their fingerprint is captured by INEC. Mm. their facial expression is captured by INEC, their addresses and their names so with this if if they are looking at improving security they can they can partner with INEC. Partner with DSS, the information are their partner with banks. Mm. Believe me, we will have enough to build our. You know, Barrister and Nancy, system. there is so much more that we could talk about, yes. but time is no longer on our side. And this is where we get to wrap it up on this episode of Blowout. And we must say, Big thanks to our guest, Barista, Barista Ndamze Kulo, for joining us today on the show. Thank you for having me. All right. Okay, remember the talk is for development here at Atlantic Blowout. Any do you, Jackson? I had a good time on the show, Divine. Hope you did. Obviously. <laughs>